All right, Blood Angels. Well, this is deployment here. That's all the orcs. Yeah, it's another 2,000 point orcs versus Blood Angels game. Yes. And then here's uh, Razorback with uh, five assault marines with no uh, jump packs. And then some more assault marines there. You got five, uh, 10 assault marines with jump packs. You got Commander Dante, the funny colored looking one. You got five. Uh, assault Marines uh, with no jump packs, part of the combat squad there. And you got uh, five, uh, they're not Death Company, they're uh, snipers, scouts. scouts. Um, and then you have three uh, drop pods, one uh, with a Furiosa, one with a Furiosa Librarian, and then the other one's empty. Uh, you got two Ball Predators with uh, Flame Swarm Cannons, and you got one... Um, Storm Raven with a Furioso and uh, a squad of a tactical squad. Tactical squad. Thank you. Uh, over here, uh, it's pretty much the same list as last time. You got ten boy, uh, ten, ten bikers, bikes. ten, ten bikes bikers. Uh, um, looted wagon with bim gun. Two units of boys. Two units of ludas with a big mech custom force field and a death dread and a dac jet. And that's uh, two thousand points. Blood Angels versus Orcs, and we'll be back with turn one. Turn one, Blood Angels. Uh, drop pod assault came in. This drop pod scattered back. Uh, this one just kind of scattered over a little bit. Um, the Razorback moved up six inches. Um, the both units of assault marines just ran normal or moved and then ran. Um, scout squad stayed still. Um, in the shooting phase, this unit of scouts shot at the Death Dread and didn't do anything. Uh, this, you, this Razorback shot its LAS cannon, hit, and uh, shook it. So it's snap firing, but it doesn't have any shooting attacks, so that doesn't matter. And then it managed to get hot on its twin linked uh, plasma weapon, so that's destroyed and it's down a hull point. Um, and then over here, this Dreadnought shot its Melta at the uh, Looted Wagon and missed. This uh, Furiosa Librarian used Blood Lance, um, got the power off successfully, managed to make it through, however, Deny the Witch uh, stopped anything from happening to the Looted Wagon and uh, failed over here and uh, one uh, bike went down. Uh, that was it for turn one. Blood Angels will be back at the end of turn two for the orcs. Okay, orc turn one. Uh, let's see, bikes moved up. Uh, looted wagon kind of moved back. Uh, Luda stayed put. Both units of boys moved. Uh, the Death Dread also moved. Um, in the shooting phase, this unit of Ludas blew up the uh, erect. Sorry, the Razorback. Um, this looted wagon used its boom gun to blow up the uh, Furioso. Thank you. Um, and then shooting from these six boys into rear armor of this Furioso librarian managed to uh, blow it up. Um, all of this was, of course, possible on this side because... The Furiosa Library rolled double sixes for his Shield of St. Guinness. So, uh, that's no bueno. But, um, and then in the Assault phase, um, the boys assaulted into the Drop Pod just to kind of move and do something because they really wanted to just get into combat. Um, Nob took a couple swipes at the Drop Pod managed to blow it up and kill six of his boys. So, uh, yeah, pretty good turn, actually. Uh, but we'll be back at the end of turn two for the Blood Angels. All right, Blood Angels turn two. So Raven came in, and the Ball Pred came in. Uh, movement, uh, this outflanked to get closer to the bikes there. This moved eight, 19 inches. Uh, the Space Marines, uh, Assault Marines moved closer to that uh, squad of boys, so did the Jump Pack, lost one by Dangerous Terrain Test, and these guys tried to move closer also. Shooting, these guys shot at the Dreadnought, did nothing. Uh, the Storm Bolts are there, took out two guys or one guy. 
uh, Sword Raven here took out three guys, I think, and the uh, what's it called? Ballpred. Ballpred took out three guys there. Uh, Assault um, took out uh, ten or eleven guys, but uh, he took out my Commander Dante because I uh, foolishly challenged him. I challenged him. He only wounded me once, but I, uh, I felled it with my um, with my iron halo roll, roll. And then the power knob took out uh, two more guys. So that's uh, Blood Angel's turn two. We'll be back with Orc turn two. Okay, end of Orc turn two. Wow. Yes. Um, sorry. Um, the Dreadnought moved closer to this assault. The Ludus stayed still. The bikes all kind of shuffled back, um, and then that unit went flat out. Uh, this unit moved closer to the other drop pod. The Luda scooted back after successfully not touching it. Um, then in the shooting phase between the two units of Ludas, I exploded the um, Storm Raven, which killed everybody inside, and um, shook and uh, the... Furioso Dreadnought. Um, then, because it had to take dangerous terrain for... Uh, we're, we're letting it skies of blood out because otherwise it would have just scattered off the table and been completely lost. Um, so we said it could skies of blood, but it still had to take the dangerous terrain test, which it rolled a one and immobilized itself. So it's sitting with one hull point, immobilized, and shaken. Um, and then... In this combat over here... I uh, managed to wipe out this assault squad between the knob and the Death Dread assaulting in, um, and then one or two boys helped finish it off. And then we caused one wound over here because the Big Mech decided to miss with every one of his attacks. Um, and then again, managed to blow up the drop pod with this unit of boys, which again killed about eight. So they're, uh, they're their own worst enemies, but that's, I guess, how it's going to be. Um, but that was it for my turn. We'll be back at the end of turn three for the Space Marines. All right, Blood Angels turn three. Uh, drop pod came in. That's pretty much it. Uh, I tried to sh uh, do uh, hit it with grenades and uh, did nothing. Or he saved it with his uh, custom force shield save. And missile launcher from the scout squad, he did the same. Uh, assaults. Oh, and storm bolters from here to that unit there. He saved it. I took out one guy, I think, and he chewed the army down to just a sergeant because he was in a uh, duel. And these guys ran away after um, after losing combat. They lost two of their of their comrades there. So that's it for Blood Angels. We'll be back with Orc. Orc turn three. Um. The Luda stayed put. These bikes moved back to grab the point because they're a troop choice thanks to Wazdaka. Uh, that unit just moved over to try and grab Line Breaker at the end of the game. Uh, this unit moved up to take a shot at the retreating Space Marines. Um, the dude moved in, or sorry, the Death Dread moved closer to the scouts hoping for an assault. Um, then in the shooting phase, I managed to knock a hull point off of that, and uh, pretty much that was it. Oh, um, this unit of bikes managed to knock out the two flaying space marines, and that was it. In the assault phase, the Death Dread failed to get into combat, and the sergeant knocked the knob out in the challenge before I could swing. So that was it. We'll be back with turn four for the Space Marines. Okay, this is a uh, total turn four wrap-up. Um, in Space Marines turn four, the ball pred came on and glanced my Death Dread. Um, snipers also got a pin, but I saved it thanks to cover. Um, the In um, turn four, Space Marines... Um, he challenged me again. My Big Mac came in and killed him with his Power Claw. Um, then in my turn, I moved the Dre Death Dread closer to the Ball Predator, moved those bikes around to take some shots at the Scouts. Um, the Dakajet came in, 
And between the Dakajet... Oh no, the Dakajet wiped out the ball prey. Right. Um, and the both of the Ludas shot at the Furioso and did nothing. But the boom gun did get through his cover save and... Ra no, blow him up. Um, and then in the... Oh, and the bikes managed to wipe out the entirety of the sniper squad. Um, even with them going to ground. Um, and the Death Dread assaulted the Ball Predator and blew it up. So uh, that was it. Managed to pretty much wipe the Space Marines off the table, with the exception that of that, that Death Dread, or that uh, Drop Pod. So we're, Victor says we're going to call it a wipe off the table. Yeah. So uh, that's it for the game. Victor, good game. Good game. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.